everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, we have a wonderful evening plan for you. My name is Casey Atchison, and I will be your MC for the evening. I'm very excited to be here. And we have a wonderful panel of experts here for you, featuring our keynote speaker, who we are very excited to welcome this evening, is Suzanne Summers. Let's give her a round of applause. Um, I want to get going and introduce our host of the evening. I know you are all super excited to listen to him speak. He has a lot of insight to offer. Dr. Mark DiDomenico is uh, a wonderful doctor. His professional career as a world-renowned cardiovascular surgeon and researcher was influenced by his personal interest in finding ways to mitigate aging. He began his own anti-aging regimen over two decades ago, engaging in the practice of proper nutritional exercise and hormone replacement therapy. His successful research in the area of bioidentical hormones, combined with innovative nutritional and exercise components, convinced them that he could help others reach their goal which is great for all of us, so thank you so much, Dr. Mark. He's a former cardiovascular surgeon, played a key role in developing a procedure known as the coronary bypass surgery, along with Dr. Lester Sava Sa Savage. I was gonna say something else, so I'm glad I said Savage. Working together as two of the initial founders of the Hope Heart Institute, they also created some of the most significant developments in heart surgery. They're innovators of our time, and we're lucky that we get to have them. Please join me in giving a very warm welcome to Dr. Mark DiDomenico. As many of you know, I'm a strong believer in walking the talk. I've been practicing bioidentical hormone therapy on myself for over 30 years. Also, several months ago, I started a new product called TA65. You're going to hear more about it tonight. It's a nutritional supplement for the telomeres in your body, which are the things that grow cells for you. And you're going to hear more about this from Dr. Upton. But an interesting ha thing has happened to me since I started it. My skin got better, and I actually got stronger than I ever was at any point in my life. So we're going to find out why from Dr. Joe tonight. In addition to balancing my hormones and taking the supplements, I do practice good lifestyle habits. I exercise just about every day. I eat healthy. I practice good skin care, and I receive many of the services that are offered at the Pro Sports Club, including IPL, and then Dr. Levy will tie me down about every six months and give me Botox so I don't get wrinkles, and a lot of other things I'm not going to tell you about because I don't want you to know all my secrets tonight, okay? As a result, I'm happy to say that I'm not only 76 years young, I also feel a lot younger than that thanks to all these people who work here. As the owner of the Pro Sports Club, I build a foundation around health with leading edge promotions and programs and services. I sought out what I thought was the best of the best experts to help create programs that would keep you young and healthy. After all, that's what it's all about to me. For those of you who have never been to the Pro Sports Club, I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. We have an amazing fitness facility. It's 300,000 square feet. It's bigger than this building. And we also focus on total body health and innovative medical services so everyone can be healthy from the inside out. We emphasize our medical focus on everything we do so you can get the results that you want. And our medical center is staffed with the leading physicians in their fields. With Outstanding Physicians, we did create the 2020 Lifestyles Program, which is a weight loss program for people 15, 20 to 300 pounds overweight. We've actually handled people at 500 pounds of total weight. It is the nation's most successful health, uh, weight loss program and also the world's leading weight loss program. People come here from all over the world to study from us, Japan, China. Considering that tonight is about aging gorgeously, what would be more fitting than to have my good friend Suzanne Summers as a featured speaker? I met Suzanne Summers many, many years ago. I was in a room that was filled with doctors, businessmen, and scholars, and Suzanne Summers walked through the door and within two minutes, without saying one word, because of her poise, her confidence, and her presence, took total control of that room. I was immediately captivated by her, as was everybody in that room, not only because she was beautiful, because when she opened her mouth, 
She proved to be brilliant, knowledgeable, and engaging. So all in all, we have a real exciting, plan, exciting program planned for you tonight with lots of information. So make this an informative night for yourselves. Learn a lot. And if you want to learn some more, come and see us. We'll teach you anything we know. That's what we do in this business. Our next guest is Dr. Daniel Levy. Dr. Daniel Levy is a board-certified cosmetic dermatologist and has quickly gained a reputation as the Eastside's best-kept secret to aging gorgeously. He is now taking the stage to share his advice for aging gorgeously, so please join me in welcoming Dr. Daniel Levy. Our theme tonight is a new way to age. In the past, we really only had two options, either to age gracefully or to age surgically. Tonight, I want to present to you a strategy for aging gorgeously. Aging gorgeously, to me, means looking beautiful, but not artificial. And we can accomplish this today with modern technologies and science-based skincare. At the Pro Sports Club, I feel uniquely positioned to not only preach diet and exercise to people who I see who are looking to look better, but I'm also able to deliver it in the context of the My Best 10 program. The My Best 10 program is the only program in the nation that delivers inside and outside rejuvenation, collaborating with dietitians, personal trainers, physicians, lifestyle coaches, who are all priming the pump from the inside. I'm able to deliver some treatments from the outside, and these are examples of some of the treatments, the grass skin care regimen, facial contouring with injectables. Everybody should be aware of a new product called Voluma, which is really changing the field of facial aging. Photofacials or fractionated laser treatments for sun damage. I'm implementing this on the outside, and they're being optimized on the inside. And now we have a recipe. Now we have a formula for aging gorgeously. It's not too late for you in your 40s and 50s to apply these modern technologies and, and skin care regimens, nor is it too late for you in your 60s and 70s. This is universal and it applies to everyone. I and my team in the Medical Spot Pro Sports Club are committed to delivering these modern technologies and science-based skin care to you and helping you on this path of aging gorgeously. And our next host is Dr. Joseph Upton. Dr. Upton is the medical director of the Anti-Aging Center at Pro Sports Club. Embarking on his journey then with renowned cardiovascular surgeon Dr. Mark DiDomenico, whom we've heard from, they began extensive research into healthy aging to develop innovative programs and services for total body health and rejuvenation from the inside out, as we've been mentioning all evening. And I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Upton. He's gonna share his knowledge on optimal aging and the science of telomeres. What's one thing that we all have in common? Well, one thing we all have in common for sure, even though I don't know all of you, of course, is that we're all aging. We're all getting older, right? We will be older tomorrow, guarantee you, than we are today. And that's something we refer to as chronological aging. Well, we're talking about a new way to age. Yes, we're gonna age chronologically, but how are you aging? How am I aging? How are you aging on the inside? People ask me all the time, well, what is anti-aging medicine? Or even the cynics were like, anti-aging medicine? You can't anti-age, right? We just talked about we're all getting older chronologically. I said, yes, anti-aging is a term that people recognize. I describe anti-aging medicine as state-of-the-art preventive medicine. Telomere science is exploding, certainly in the medical literature, and even in the lay press. Um, that's why many of you have probably heard about it. Science now has really kind of got some tools that we can look at this. It's looking into the cell. People will call it cellular aging or biological aging. In contrast to chronological aging, which we're all doing. So the difference is not how many birthdays am I having, but how are my telomeres? How am I aging at a cellular DNA level? Now, if you're asking yourself, well, I'm getting older, so my telomeres are just kind of, you know, whittling away. What do I do? Lifestyle things have been, it's not anecdotal. There are many good studies showing the benefits of lifestyle change on the health of our telomeres, therefore the health of your cells. Regular exercise, healthy diet, 
plenty of antioxidants in your diet or by supplementation or both. Optimal sleep. And a big one, stress. Stress will really kind of chew up those telomeres. Science has also brought us a product that Dr. Mark had mentioned, TA65 by TA Sciences, which is a telomerase enzyme activator. It helps that enzyme, it helps preserve your telomeres. And it's a natural supplement, one that I've been taking for six months and again, enjoying the benefits of. So why do I tell you this? It's, it's not to make you into telomere scientists. I tell you this along with some of the highlights of our program so you know what kind of things that we are currently offering and we will continue to offer. Really, we are committed to offering the best and the latest in technology now and as new things develop. I really believe, I have a strong conviction, that we are a generation that can choose in many ways how we age. When you drive home tonight, you're thinking about it tomorrow, what choices can I make? What do I need to make? If you're content, that's fine. If you feel like you want to take your health and your aging to another level in terms of optimization, then think about the choices. You're empowered. I am empowered to make different choices. This is a journey I would call aging. It's a wonderful journey. And I really sincerely hope that it's a journey that really brings a healthier and more vibrant you. Suzanne Summers has been relevant for more than three decades. Summers has written 24 books on health and wellness, and most are New York Times bestsellers. She lectures globally on a new way to age to crowds of thousands across North America and Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, Suzanne Summers. coming here and I love speaking to women. I'm so glad to see so many men here tonight because what I'm going to talk about affects not only women but men and there is a new way to age. And I looked several books ago, I, I kind of, my life is in the books that I write, and several books ago I looked at the present paradigm of aging and I thought, wow, no wonder nobody wants to get old. That looks terrible. It's decrepit, it's frail, you got one of the th big three, you know, cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's. And then this inevitable last stop at the nursing home, and I thought, we have to expect more of our life than that. But today, um, that seems to be the present scenario. So I'm here to tell you how you will not end up like that. I do not plan to be there. I'm gonna live to be at least 110 years old. And I find that a very feasible uh, age to uh, reach for right now by doing the things that I'm going to talk about today. The big thing that plagues most people is sleep. I'm sure, how many here sleep five hours or less? It, I mean, if you could see from here, it's almost all of you. That's a game changer. You want, you want to get yourself back to sleep and you want to get to yourself back to sleep naturally. Sleeping pills, are short-term. Sleeping pills are not sleep. It's a suspended state. None of the healing hormone work that happens uh, can happen in a suspended state. So you get rest, but you're never really rested. You know, those of you who've been on Ambien or anything, you're, you're sleeping, but it's not the right kind of sleep. It's not that sleep that you used to have when you were a kid. When you were a kid, did you ever think about, oh, I hope I sleep tonight? No. Ever put your grandchild to bed or your child to bed? You don't sit there and think, oh, I hope they sleep tonight. They sleep. They're making tons of uh, melatonin, more than they will ever make in their life when they're children because nature has a plan. Nature knows that sleep is when um, things happen, growth, uh, repair, cellular repair, etc. So when you stop sleeping, that's a language. There's a language of hormonal decline. I call it the seven dwarves of menopause. Itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. <laughs> Any of those people in your house? <laughs> well, <laughs> around my uh, mid to late 40s, they all moved in. The house got real crowded. Here's how hormones work. Let's know what a teeter-totter is? We all. I think they're outlawed now because, God forbid, the kids might fall off and hurt themselves. We don't want that to happen. Um, think of all the, all the things we fell off of. And what did your mother say? Well, go wipe up, clean up, right? Anyway, 
I digress. Okay, we're back on the teeter-totter. Now, we have two sets of hormones, minor hormones, major hormones. Minor hormones are, you've heard of them, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, pregnenolone. There are others, but these are the most important ones. And by the way, you men have all of those too. You have estrogen, you have to, uh, progesterone, testosterone, pregnenolone, uh, DHEA, et cetera. Over here, on this end of the teeter-totter are your major hormones, insulin, thyroid, cortisol, and adrenal. Those are the major guys. And if something goes wrong over there, you won't live too long and your quality of life won't be too good. These are, these are the, like the orchestra leaders over here. Okay, so here's your teeter-totter. Minor hormones over here, majors over there, all right? Now, you're 35, 45, and you're just starting to decline in your minors. You've lost a little estrogen, you lost just a little progesterone, a little testosterone, you're a little bitchy. Hey, you like sex, but you're not like as into it as you used to be. You're gaining weight, you don't know why. You um, itch, yeah, and your hair's not so great either. All right. Um, now, what's happening over here? Well, as these drop, then the majors rise. No, nah, it's not good. Now nah, you got a thyroid that's out of rack. Your insulin's high. That's why you're gaining weight. You know that unexplained ga weight gain when you're all going, I don't know what it is. I'm not eating. I'm, I'm, I'm exercising more and I'm still gaining weight. It's this. Remember the teeter-totter. Now your insulin is high. Your adrenals are now high too. Ooh, that's not good. That's when your heart, you lie in bed and your heart's racing. You ever had that? You just can't calm down. You don't know what it is. Adrenaline, adrenaline. And when your adrenals are high, guess what? Your cortisol is now sky high. That's why you're not sleeping. Cortisol, this guy up here, is your stress hormone. And uh, stress is meant back in paleo times, my favorite time, when you're being chased by saber-toothed tigers. You needed an extra burst of energy to keep going. But it's not a good thing to have your stress hormone activated all the time because it's only reserved for when those you know, saber-toothed tigers are chasing you. <clears throat> all right, how do you get it down? Well, if you went to a regular doctor who didn't understand the new way to age, well, can't sleep, here's your sleeping pill. Uh, gaining weight, you don't know why? Well, here's the diuretics and the diet pill. The um, adrenal, well, that's where you get your Valium, your anti-anxiety. All of these, all of these are creating havoc in your body that is not a pharmaceutical deficiency. You just need what? Over here, you need your minor hormones back to get this. <laughs> you get it, don't you? <laughs> so, <laughs> I love teaching this because it's so simple if you really understand it. How many in this room get bloated? <laughs> the hands are going up like this. All right, I'm going to do it too. I get bloated too. Why? What is that about? Everybody's always saying, what's wrong with my stomach? Well, <laughs> there is something wrong with your stomach, and doctors are stymied by this. There's a lot of things going on right now that disrupt your hormones. It's what's happening in your GI tract. The toxins are coming in. If you don't eat organic food, you're taking in toxins and pesticides all the time. And if you're cleaning your house with toxic chemicals, you're breathing, you're sleeping, you're washing with, you're showering with, everything, you're co co chemicals. At, at some point, there's a tipping point of how many toxins the human body can even handle. It was never designed to handle toxins of any kind. We have a master antioxidant in our body called glutathione, but we stopped making that in our early 30s. We stopped making most everything that's really good in our uh, physiology in our early 30s. And um, these toxins get into your GI tract. And if your GI tract does not have the proper amount of microflora probiotics, then the bad guys are in there and they take over whatever little good guys you have, and they let the toxins start eating little holes through your GI tract. The brain is 85% fat, and toxins love to live in fat. Now, 
Think about all the people you know with ADD, ADHD, OCD, um, autism, asthma, schizophrenia, bipolar, uh, dyslexia, dyspraxia. Think of all. Did you ever hear of all those initials before? It's a new thing. And the kids, it's an epidemic with the kids. You're going, but what does this have to do with hormones? OK, now we're there. Hormones have a complexity to them. But you throw in now the um, damaged uh, environment, the pollution, the toxins. We're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. All we can each do, we can't turn the big ship around. It's too late. The food has been hijacked. I don't, is this is not doom and gloom. I've got big answers for everything. But it is a little doom and gloomy, I know. Um, you have to make the right choices with your food. You have to rethink what you're cleaning your house with. If you've got allergies all the time, you've got to think about what you're sleeping on. You've got to do all these things in conjunction with getting your teeter-totter balanced through your bioidentical hormones. You're lucky you've got the doctors here who know how to do it. A lot of uh, women and men in different cities in America don't have access to doctors who know anything about this. So you've got that part taken care of. And now this part is up to you of cleaning up just your just take, you can take care of yourself and your family. You can't, you can't change the whole world, but you can take care of yourself. You can make those changes in your house. You can make those changes in your diet. And isn't it great to think about having a steak and butter and sour cream?